We've talked about the type of damage that we see on the trail, whether that's from erosion, compaction, use, or water. In this video, we wanna talk about the type of maintenance features that we can install to improve the trail sustainability. Those features include rolling gray dips, water bars, and possibly check dams. But first we wanna talk about where we install these features and how they're gonna help the trail that we're working to improve. One of the first features we can install on a trail to shed water is outsloping. All right, so this piece of trail here, we can see that the center of the trail tread is lower than the downhill or critical edge of the trail. Now that happens from a combination of compaction and erosion. And one of the best parts about sustainable trails is their ability to shed water as it sheets down the hillside. So as water sheets down to the trail, we want to angle that trail with a little bit of an outslope to allow water to continue moving across the trail, down and away. But because we have this really minor berm here, that's not going to be able to happen. And once we get water on this trail, it's now going to be trapped and it's going to be flowing down trail, causing more erosion. So what we want to do is we want to reestablish that outslope by removing this berm, getting our outslope back, and allowing for sheet flow to happen. So we had a berm here. It was really small. It was only an inch or two above the low point of the trail tread here. That berm was blocking all water coming down the hillside from continuing to sheet down across our trail. So what we did is we removed this berm to reestablish the outslope of the trail tread, allowing just small trickles of water to kind of continue down over the trail and away. When we've evaluated the trail and determined that we have an erosion problem that can't be solved by outsloping, we begin to look at a few other techniques that can be used to mitigate the problem. One of the best tools we have to shed water from the trail is the rolling gray dip. They're efficient to build and maintain, and they're a low impact solution for both the trail users and the surrounding environment. These features work well because when done right, we can convince the water from the trail and we don't have to force it to do anything it doesn't want to do. Selecting the right location for your gray dip is just as critical as building it properly. Remember when we spoke about outsloping? We determined that the angle of the outslope needed to be steeper than the linear grade of the trail. We can use rolling grade dips on slightly steeper pieces of tread. But if the grade is too severe, we will only make erosion worse. So let's talk about the rolling grade dip. First part is the drain pan. So think about the drain pan as the low point in the trail tread itself. We're gonna be digging down into the trail to create this low point, because what we wanna do is set up the way that the water gets convinced as it flows down our trail onto our lead off ditch and down and away. When we construct these rolling gray dips, one of the things that we really, really wanna make sure we're doing is digging our drain pans down below the original level of the trail. So when our berm disappears, and it's not an if, it's a when, we still have this constructed low point in the trail. So as long as we have a good, high quality drain pan and a lead off ditch that's not gonna speed water up and create more erosion than we already have, we're gonna have a feature that's gonna last for a while. If you need to dig the drain pan in so deep that the trail becomes dangerous or excavating the trail surface just isn't an option, gray dips are no longer the right solution. Something like a water bar or maybe a check dam may be more effective. Water bars create a hardened berm using rocks or logs to make sure the berm stays put. Water bars are time consuming to build correctly. And really, trail users just don't like them. Often they'll avoid them if they can, creating trail braiding and other erosion issues. Water bars are not our preferred method, especially when there are other techniques available. One of the more heavy handed maintenance techniques that we have on the trail is the check dam. From an environmental standpoint, what we're doing with the check dam is we're elevating the trail tread and we're trying to create an area of deposition behind it. We really only build check dams on trails that we know water is flowing down and we're having a hard time shedding that water. So what we're doing by creating this area of deposition that as water comes down, it's gonna slow down right behind the check dam and it's gonna drop the sediment that it's carrying before it continues on down the hill. Most trail users don't like check dams or steps on a trail. So what we can do as we're constructing these is make sure that we don't have too much height gain between the trail tread and the stepping surface of this rock 
to encourage people to stay on the trail. So where do we build check dams? We use check dams on sections where we're not able to get the water off the trail, such as alignments that can't shed water naturally, are located on the fall line, or go straight down the hill, or trails where erosion has made them too deep for outsloping or grade dips to be effective. So as we've seen, choosing the right feature and the right location makes all the difference to sustainable trail maintenance.